And now, The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Danny Travis kicks off your Morning Rush. An investigation is underway after someone reportedly opened fire at another car on a busy Boynton Beach Road. You can see what appears to be someone leaning out of the car window of a white Nissan, then firing shots off at the white Honda right in front of them. Detectives say this was the intersection of North Seacrest Boulevard and Minor Road. As of this morning, detectives still have not identified any suspects or anyone else involved in that video. Some Martin County residents and pickleball players are pushing to bring AEDs to some of its local parks. The push comes after one of their teammates passed away while playing at a park in Stewart, and there were no AEDs on site. Hundreds attended a meeting last night hoping to speak to Parks and Rec's department, but they were not present. Members of the community said they already purchased the AEDs, but just need the county to come up with a plan on how to store them on site. A scam alert out of Tequesta. Residents are saying they're getting suspicious phone calls claiming to be from the village requesting something of monetary value. Village leaders say they're having issues with their own office phones. And if you receive a call from the number on your screen right here, officers are emphasizing that this number is not connected to the village of Tequesta. As a reminder, you should never deposit any money into an account or buy gift cards when prompted by a phone call. During heated testimony on Capitol Hill, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg apologized to families who said that their children were harmed by social media. The Senate Judiciary Committee hearing on the impact of social media on children looked at sexual exploitation online and included CEOs from several other companies. Families attended the hearing, some holding up signs, sharing their children's stories. Florida lawmakers are looking to crack down on social media use for children, and it's now one step closer to becoming law. The state's the Senate is expected to consider a bill next week that bans social media use for kids under the age of 16. The bill would prevent minors from creating new social media accounts while also terminating existing accounts for those under 16. FBI Director Christopher Wray sounded the alarm on Chinese hackers targeting critical parts of the nation's infrastructure, including the power grid and transportation system. Wray calls it the defining threat of our generation. U.S. officials, though, say they disrupted efforts yesterday that could have caused damage to civilian infrastructure.